Incoming, Jacob Fatu, he's here. We are in trouble now, we are in trouble. This dude, this dude's insane, he is insane. Now I'm not a person that branches too far out of WWE. I do know a little here and there of what's happening in AEW or TNA, maybe even New Japan, but MLF, not really. But knowing that Jacob Fatu was about to enter the island of relevancy, I kind of started watching it and watching him. Holy crap! Holy crap, I'm putting a bunch of B footage, B roll as I talk, and this guy's insane. Oh my gosh, I don't think WWE is going to really let him do all of these moves on a regular basis, but like, he'll probably pull them out for the pay per views and stuff. And this guy's big. This guy should not be able to do some of these moves. Oh man, this guy's crazy. This guy is insane what he can do. He's like Umaga and uh, Jeff Hardy. I saw that comparison and it was kind of right because I saw him do this like Swanton Bomb and Umaga was crazy. I loved Umaga. Bow some more. Bow some more. I went to WrestleMania 23 in Detroit. That's when I was living there. And Umaga was fighting Bobby Lashley in a hair versus hair match for Donald Trump, our future president, and our disgraced WWE owner, Vince McMahon. And I had a sign that said, Umaga ate my family. And I was just like, I just kept going to people like, Bow some more. Bow some more. Ah! I would like do the Samoan spike. I loved Umaga. Umaga. I was so mad when he lost to John Cena with the uh, the ring rope at Royal Rumble. Oh man, it would have been so cool. Just this champion and how he used to hold the Intercontinental Belt in his teeth. I was in love with Umaga and I was really hoping he would have became champion and unfortunately, ah man, Umaga could have just got a second run. He could be in the bloodline right now, but Maybe we've got the second coming of Umaga in Jacob Fatu, and wow, dang. He's only 32. He's younger than Tonga, so we have a pretty young cat here, and he kind of reminds me of how the Usos were. Maybe a little bit. Now, no shade, no shade, because I'm going to say I'm fat, all right? I am overweight, and I remember the Usos, they seemed to be, like, they were in great shape, but they were a little on the pudgier side when they first started, and now look at them. Now they're lean, they're mean, they're Uso machines, and I think Jacob Fatu might fall in that category. You watch. Jacob Fatu is about to enter the picture. I bet within two to three years, this guy is slimmed down like mad, and geez, if he can do these moves now at this weight, what can he do when he loses 50 60 pounds or he 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 uh, reshapes it to uh, muscle and only 32 years old big future 32 is like the prime of your career the only thing that's holding him back is that he's been in the minor leagues for a very long time so in the minor leagues you're not fighting the professionals and stuff but from the matches i saw and he has gotten a couple uh big time matches like with jerry lawler amazing red and a lot of other people as well mjf but he hasn't had a consistent stream of just professionals but he's doing a great job plus Plus, his whole family is this island of Samoa, so he's probably better than most rookies coming in. And uh, he's not a rookie because he's been in the minor leagues, but that's fine. Now, why has he been in the minor leagues? Why is this guy so good? Why hasn't he been called up to the WWE sooner? Well, uh, as near as I can tell, he does have an armed robbery charge on him. When he was 18, he was convicted of armed robbery. So that's, uh, that's a crime. Definitely a crime. Definitely not good. But he's 32. He's had, what, that's uh, 24 years to reconsider. I guess when he was, like, you know, in the midst of his um, fighting his demons, he saw his brothers or his, his cousins, the Usos, and they are the ones, you know, kind of turned his life around. He was like, you know what, I want to be like them. But, hey, before you judge and throw some stones, Booker T was also in trouble. Yeah, yep. Booker T, MVP, these guys were also in trouble, turned their lives around, and wrestling was an avenue for that. So, you know what? The guy's insane, and I would be scared of him, but the arm robbery thing is not why I'd be scared of him. I think it, I'd just be scared of him, because look at the guy. He looks like a beast. I believe he has, he has done his time for the crime, and he has moved on, and good for you, because, hey, 
ultimately that's what jail is for. Jail is not really supposed to be to keep you there forever. It's supposed to rehabilitate you, get you out, and become an active producing member of society. And it looks like he's about to do that in the bloodline. But you could also play on that though because you know what? Even though it's a past that he might not be too fond of, it is something that we can use in the present because the Usos had a penitentiary. Guess who might have served there? We've got now Jacob Fatu coming out of the Uso penitentiary and going into the Bloodline 2.0. This is what the Bloodline needs. I've been looking at Solo Sokoa and even Tamatanga. At first it was great. Tamatanga, he looks like a pit bull, just uh, and it was great, but now watching watching the last couple Smackdowns where they're just basically at equal footing with RKO and KO, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like if Roman was here, he would have destroyed them. He would have left them in his wake, holding up the, the belt and being like, wise man, let's go. Acknowledge me. I acknowledge you, Roman. Like, I hope you guys acknowledge the subscribe button. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm just really pumped that this guy is here. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a little appetizer of who Jacob Fatu is. This is an introduction to Jacob Fatu. Look at those moves that he was doing. Insane. This guy's going to add a lot of value. He's 32. Nowhere to go but up here. I'm so glad that he was able to turn his life around. And welcome to the big leagues. And and yeah, Jacob fought too. I'm very excited to see what you got. I will acknowledge you too, Jacob. I will acknowledge you too, Mr. Fatu, and hope to see what you bring to this era of the bloodline. Have a good day, guys. Have a good day.